there. Exactly, Scholar for the win. Y'all come in here and mess with Scholar, but Scholar over there battling races. I'm just like, I don't get it. And I'm not going to care what he says about them because they don't care about ours. They don't care about ours. I don't <laughs> care. We weren't friends. Me and Scholar are mutual. What, well, are we mutuals? Well, what would you call yeah. us at this point? I, well, I call you Granny, so... Yo, Granny, yo, you, you know how I know we cool? Because we had a problem and I still didn't do anything. I was just, when we had a problem that one time, I was like, man, Granny fucked up, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't people. even thinking about doing nothing. I was like, whatever, that was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, his eyes are beautiful. But this is the thing, I'm just saying, just flat out, I, I'm just in disbelief. I'm in disbelief that there are so many people that are, have, are so mad at Scholar that they can't sit up here and realize who is this person? Just a lady? Yo, Linda, I'm yo. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm good. Love you. Love you too. Thank you for coming up. I think I don't know how old they are. They sounded young. So, <laughs> but thank you. But you know, it's just like I I kind of I wasn't shocked. But I'm sitting here like, why are you fronting, bro? You know why you did a whole three-hour live stream about Scala. He exposed you for being racist. Mm -hmm. And then they sent up to the man. <laughs> and they're like, you let him say that? I don't care. You're a racist. Yeah. Twisted. I know they would never pull it. Yo, when, when, when they posted that address, like, yo, it was funny because I had just ordered DoorDash. And my DoorDash was pulling up. And I was like, fuck. So I left and I ate and I... And, and, they, and they still had the address up. So I had to come back up just to show like, yo, let's just say that is my address. What is you going to do with it? Nothing. Yeah. And and then he ended up saying like, oh, it would be a shame if somebody calls you New Jersey cops. I'm like, yo, that's what really you're going to do is call the cops. And then what? You know what he said when you left? He came He came on, that AV guy, he came on and said, Scholar just got swatted. The police went over there. And I was like, that's a whole lie. I'm like, that's not even my address. Huh? It's not even my address. And I what, get swatted with what? Yo, I, I was eating my food and people were on Instagram hitting me back up. They were like, oh, they're saying that you ran. And I was eating my food. I was like, I'll come back when I'm done eating. Like, I'm not going to fucking let my food get cold. So I came I back and I was like, all right, which one of y'all is going to use that address? Which one of y'all am I going to put on the news? And nobody's saying anything. Especially if you're right now is a, a coward. Everybody knows that. Everybody who, who who has ever seen me make a video, that one video I did has hit me up. They were like, yo, Ragnar's a coward. Like, they, 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 they know him in the city for running from everybody. He don't do shit. So when he posted my address or whatever address he thought, I'm like, yo, Ragnar, what are you going to do now with that address? What are you going to do? Nothing. You're never going to do any. None of them is ever going to do anything with, with, with an address. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody pulls up. But my thing is, so you were so mad at me, not you, but Ragnar so mad at me that he called me an envy. I'm so, I'm not, you know, it's the internet. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's the internet. But don't be sneaking in black spaces and having black <laughs> people fight for you when you calling me the N word, bro. He, he said he would mail you shit. Yeah, that's all he's gonna do. What is he gonna do? Yo, let Ragnar pull up to my house. I will beat the fucking brakes off of him and then I'll send him right back home unconscious in the airplane. I'll pick him up. Like, you ever seen Weekend at Bernie's? I'll fucking put him on the airplane like that. Send his ass right back home. Fucking weirdo. I don't believe none of these. That's why I had to come back because once he started showing that, Michael, did you not take your meds today? Michael, shut the fuck up, man. Anyways. Oh, the U.S. Marine guy? That's Michael. Yeah, the, the fucking, yeah Michael's, yo, Michael's a weirdo, man. This dude, he, he forgets his meds sometimes and he be going off, but... Yo, the, 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 that's why I had to come back because they kept saying, and then yo, you saw Patrick's punk ass come in? Uh -huh. He, he what? Another like, Are you serious? Why are you siding with racists? Like, this, that was a whole panel of racists. They were saying so many racial tropes to Scala and then wondering why, wondering why people are like, bro, you guys are racist. Like, you can be mad at people, and I'll be like, you didn't hear me once say you white B to, to what's his name? But no, he called me an envy. I can't even say it. It's let, just like, let, yeah, Patrick was in there. Yo, let, let me say this: when I, when I was on a live of Mr. Movie, I told I told that guy who who's filming his fucking YouTube video 
when he comes to Jersey, I'm going to beat the brakes off of him. This dude recorded me and fucking sent it to me. He was like, I'll be making a police report once I land in Jersey. I was like, what the fuck? So this dude came here. Like, supposedly he put his itinerary up, but then he took it down. I don't know if he's here now or not, but that's that's the way these people operate. They And then he jumps in a live with Mr. Movie, and he was like, oh, Scott, I want to fight. I'm with all the shit. I'm like, yo, bro, you just sent me an email saying that you contacted the cops and sent him that. The fuck that's are you talking awesome. about? Modern Ragnar called me an N-word B. Yeah. And that's it. That's what I, I'm telling you right now. I don't care. I know what I heard. I know. How, and I'm they not, are I haven't been called an N-word in at least 10 years. At least 10 years. They didn't get gifted that much. I was seeing the gifts. I got gifted as much as anybody. Actually, the only other person who got more gifts to me was was Ragnar. That's because his fucking two racist ass friends came in there. Fucking, I believe Peter said, Snacks big ass fucking bloated girlfriend came in there and gifted him a universe. But you know we all know Snacks isn't black and Snacks fucking girlfriend is racist as shit too. So she went in there and gifted fucking Ragnar. So yeah. Well, I know this much. Uh, Snacks, he be around. Snacks is a Snacks, bitch. Lumberjack. All these people, and he want to call people the N word. Snacks is a coward. He's a complete fucking coward. This dude. Why, coward. why does this guy keep saying people are secretly Trump supporters? When that be okay? When we be okay that he called us that if we was a Trump supporter, we'd be like, yeah, get them. If they're acting like it, then say it about them. No, you should never say. Thank you, Mooch. You should never say the N word toward anybody. Thank you. Yay, Texas. Give me some more. But yeah. Well, I'm about to start your I'm, I'm about to start the show. But I was so upset about the, well, I wasn't really even upset, but I was so bothered that my people was siding with people that called me the N word. I was so upset that they were siding with people against a Latino person that's, that's, oh my gosh, I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Listen, fucking child, Patrick is a full on child abuser. He don't even care about his kids. So I don't think he cares about racists either. So it didn't even surprise me he was in there. Fucking but Patrick got, got locked up for beating line. up his kids okay, and man. beating up his baby mother. So you guys, that's my dog in the background. You guys, we about to head over to Koi underscore Bundy underscore. Why don't we stay Bundy? here? Hold on real quick. Why we're already here? here. Yeah, why not? We're already here. I'm already <sighs> here. I'm, I'm about to order some more food. Here. School of... I don't know what that is. But, okay, you guys. So, this is about Eb, Reddy, and Scala. Basically, Eb, Reddy, and I can't really... I feel weird talking because my dog is drinking right now. Eb, Reddy ran around this app saying that Scala, um, saying that Scala doxed her and Scala harassed her and all this stuff. But once we look at the evidence and we actually see, um, let me see if it's on here because I'm pretty sure I took some screenshots last night. So during, so during this situation, oh, here he goes. All right, so this is Eb Ready. And this is with this is her with her um, what is it called Oompa Loompa makeup. Um, she actually is the one that started the drama that caused everybody to be involved more than what they already was. Exactly, exactly, Jesse. She loves talking about me and Scholar. So looking back at this, look all the way back at this 10, 10 12 of twenty twenty one. So one of the things that I'm going to show you guys is, let me see. All right. So which one is it? Is that one or that one? It is, I didn't get a better picture. Sorry. This is the video that she admits to um, going to Scala's page. And we're going to listen to what she says in this video. Let me take a look here. I gotta make sure I'm on my backup page. I gotta make sure I'm on my backup. How do I hear myself? I had to look up and see what page I was on. All right, so let's get here. We're gonna play this video. 
because a lot of people need to know exactly how this started. All right. Let's see. Is this the one? No, you have a different shirt on. Let's go here. Oh, there we go. I'm old, y'all. I'm old. Yeah, I'm waiting for the show to start. Whatever. No idea who this person is, but yes, he is broke. Hi, my love. Remember me? I love this comment on this video. Okay, so how did we get a violation already? I haven't even done anything. I didn't get a violation. I got a little, I got one for my page. I'm like, what in the world, dude? So, so yes, we're going to have to move over to the other account. Wait, what did the violation say? It just said violation, bullying, harassment. Really? Every, yeah. Every time I talk about Eb, I get a violation. So oh, we're gonna play okay. this video. I have no... Well, 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 everybody here, follow this page because, I mean, you know Cole Bundy's page too, right? They know your page? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, if you, if, if you want to be... Okay, follow him so we can... So you can find me on Koi underscore Bundy because we're going to go over there because they can go... And if that one gets bananaed, we'll come back over here. Flat out. Granny, just ride it out. Let's just stay here. Let's ride it out. I got your back. Everybody like the page. This is why the page is getting reported. Everybody hit the t hit the screen. Hit the the lights got to go up like really fast. Yeah, I think we should ride it out. I don't. I haven't got a violation. I, mean, I haven't said anything either. But yeah, I got one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this video, and this is her admitting in the beginning of this. She's admitting to going on his account fucking idea who this person is but yes he is broke hi my love remember me i left this comment on this video to which you thought it was a good idea to run your ass over to instagram and post my address <laughs> and while you thought this might have been a good idea you got the wrong bitch so i just wanted to take this quick second to say that you sir have fucked all the way up so let me say this okay now they can say all this stuff now i do want to ask this question the video that she commented on, was that the video about T. Nathan? Yeah. All right. So, did you know who Ebony was before she commented on your page? No. Okay. So, when Ebony came over to your page, I believe that this video says, let me look at what this says. Actually, I think I could pull it up. All right. Her comment says, you literally just said you don't know who he is, but then said he is broke. You're a whole clown. So as we see, Eb I was going to say EBT, Eb Ebony or EB Ready came to him and insulted him she doesn't know this man he did a he did a stitch of t nathan when he went to jail and they were saying that um they were saying that they needed to raise money for his bond and scala cracked a joke and was like bro you're broke so she took it upon herself to go all the way to Scala's video, along with multiple others from the fold that was associated with I Speak, John T, from Crystal Crave, all of them went over to go after Scala. And this was September of 2021 or August. I believe it was September because he went to jail in September 21. Thank you. So if if Scala didn't go find Eb, then how are they so easily saying that Scala stalks them, but they stalked Scala? They had to go look for Scala's page 
And really, they didn't even have to look for it because all their friends tagged him, duetted him, and basically was going after him as if he was the one that actually locked T. Nathan up. Hi, Eve. So, after this happened, after this happened, she's saying that you went on her Instagram and she's saying that you put out her address. What 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 do you say with that? What can you tell me your side of what happened? I never posted on her Instagram at all. So when she so you know I'm gonna pull you know I, I'm gonna ask you about this because she's um she, this is her biggest claim. So her biggest claim is that you went over on her Instagram and and doxed her address or whatever. So if you're saying you never did that, so what was your response back in? And I know this is a long time ago. What was your your response back in 2021 when this happened? I didn't even respond to her because I was getting so many comments on that video. Like I, I don't, I don't even think I responded to her. The first thing I noticed was when she made this video saying I doxed her. So then, what did? How did? Like after that, do you know how many videos she made after that one? I know in total she probably made like fucking six or seven about me. I'm not. Yeah, she made a lot of videos, um, which I found to be a little weird. For a person that's saying that someone else is is um he's Doxing. admitted to putting her address off. Okay, it's just Faye just asked, and you know they said that you have admitted to putting her address out before. Mm-hmm. What do you say to that? I don't know where she lives, and I never knew. So, one of the things I do want to ask you is, would you consider yourself a troll? Yeah. And when you troll. Is there something specific that you do when you troll people? Um, no, just for fun. No, I mean like the way you troll. Like, if someone says Scala, Scala ordered me a pizza, are you gonna say no, I didn't? Or are you gonna say yeah, I did? Oh no! If, if somebody tells me that, then yeah, I'll probably. If somebody says they I did it, I'll be like yeah, I did it. So does it mean that you did or you just no, you that's been a bunch of shit that I actually didn't do and people would just say, oh, he did it. And I'll be like, all right, I did it. It's all good. So with this evidence shown here in this picture that I had just showed you guys, I, I would like for you guys to to tell me your thoughts. Maz, can you do a poll because plan of troll attack? Oh, they said, what is your plan of troll attack? What was your plan of troll attack? I don't even know what the hell that means. I don't have no plan. One of my mods asked that. They said plan of troll attack. I think they mean like, is there like a level to your trolling when people, you know, like if they say something about you, do you do you match the energy or do you go 20, 20 steps below? No, I just I just do what I <laughs> <laughs> That's great. No, I wait on the way. I just got a message from the AV guy I was just on. He was like, "Yo, bro, come back. My numbers are slipping." <laughs> oh lord, <laughs> he is wild. He, is wild. he just messaged me on Instagram saying that. Get the fuck. Anyways, baby, what was your question again? So okay, so the mod was trying to reiterate what I was saying, but okay, so I'll just move on. So with mm-hmm. this, when oh, that's what I'm gonna do. So mods. If Ebony commented on his video first and made six videos about him or such, would you guys can would you I mean I want to ask a question in the chat. I want people to to I want to ask um who was the harasser, Ebony or Scala? Yeah, that is stalking. She went to his video then made six videos about him after that after she went to his video this is her admission that she went to that video she, he didn't know who she was uh, the same for the other women and ever since then you do know that not only did she make a video because she did this one but also i speak made a video and we all know i'll do the poll I'll do the, let's do it. Let's, okay, not that one. I'll do the poll real quick. 
I know this is a little boring, but we'll get it there, Scholar. Who? Now, yo, the, 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 one of the guys just came in here and told me to go. You ain't see he just commented. He was like, come back to the show. Okay. I'm looking at it. They're at 500 people right now. Fuck that. I'm oh, not going are? back. <laughs> there was at like 4,000 when I was in there. That shit was crazy. And you know what? He's, I would go over there, but... I'm not going over there. Fuck that The shit. fact that he sat up there and dropped me after Ragnar called me the N-word, I was just... I was done at that part. Okay, so I'm almost done with the poll, you guys. All right. Let's take this poll. Okay, mm -hmm. you can only start a poll when the existing... Oh, did you guys already do the poll? Yeah, they said, how good does Scholar look right now? No, they didn't. Did and they were like, sexy, sexy as shit, or I'm wet. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Okay, <laughs> right, you guys. <laughs> well, tell them to stop bringing up children. Do you know that Ebony actually posted a video of Scholar's child when Scholar was walking with his child? She posted it on TikTok. Do you know that? Because we could pull up that evidence right now. Because y'all know I don't mind having receipts. You know, I'm not here to defend, but I'm here to find the truth. <laughs> I'm here to find the truth. So let's find that video. Because she was upset because on, because on what is it called? Instagram. She said that you, uh, you tagged her. I never tagged her. Let's take a look here. Hold on, let me find that video because it's in here. Yo, why does Osprey look pregnant in that picture? He every day he looks pregnant. He looks like he's a good like three or four months pregnant. Any white woman coming in here telling me that I'm sick for talking to a, another minority person, please mute them and block. <laughs> like, they're weird. <laughs> Yo, okay. 59, I recorded that whole live. It'll be on YouTube shortly. Relax. You don't have to tell me, oh, I screen recorded what you said, bro. It's going to be on YouTube at Street Scholar TV. Give me like until tonight. I'm going to do this. I'm going to eat and I'm going to watch Scream 6. So you, you got to give me to like midnight. To I hate when people do that. Like, Scholar, we recorded you. Like, yo, I record myself. What are you talking about? I can't even, you know, I don't even know why I'm showing that. I'm not going to show that because... If you look up um, Ebony and Street Scholar, you can find it. I'm not gonna post. Uh, I'm not gonna post it because his, his daughter's on there. But the thing is, um, if Ebony was the first one to approach Scholar, calling him a clown, how mm -hmm. is an inmate six videos about Scholar? How is Scholar stalking Ebony? And now that you guys, hi Janine. Now that you guys have gained momentum with your followers to go after Scala, after Ebony was the first one that went over to Scala's page and called him a whole clown. What, why, so what was what did Scala do wrong? Because he respond? Because he responded? Is is that why? So I need to understand. I mean, you watched it too? Okay, Ben. All right. Well, hey. <laughs> oh, Darth Maul said he rocking with me. That's what's up. He wasn't, I, I didn't hear anything about hurting children. And I'm gonna tell you this, um, I'm. he's a grown man. I, literally cannot say how he trolls people i'm definitely not going to tell him how to troll a racist that called me the n-word or nazi which i like to call him it's like if you call me the n-word bro i'm not defending nothing and y'all can come on here and say whatever you want he never said that i looked at the uh, screenshots i knew i seen that he never said that so i don't know why you guys say that he said that he never said that that that's real life weird bring the proof and don't create the proof out of your minds <laughs> i don't care that man called me the n-word ragnar called me an n-word b and y'all didn't say nothing bye 
y'all want to come over here and talk to y'all want to come over here and talk to scholar about whatever he said to a racist that called me the n-word exactly you recorded it see they said they were thank you he called me an n-word b and y'all want to come over here and tell me how i'm platforming a man that was arguing with a man that called me the n-word b i don't care what this man said to them all right y'all there's the poll so if <laughs> Ebony went to yes he did and it's on tape it's on recording he did well where can you prove that he is one i don't know i don't see they just be coming up with stuff but y'all want to sit up here y'all ain't got nothing to say about ragnar calling me the n-word exactly all y'all gotta do all y'all want to do is defend ragnar that called a black woman the n-word come what he's so heated he's so mad scholar made him so mad that he called me the n-word and y'all in here trying to tell me what i'm doing come on now y'all y'all better open your eyes if scholar's cussing out a, a dog on races well it, it is you know what it just happened but we'll have that we'll have that recording up you best believe i'm gonna show it well we'll have it believe that you think okay I, anyways so ultimately if granny was called out of her name that's not right it's got exactly scott defending me and whether he i don't care what he said to that man that called me the n-word i don't care what he said to that man that called me the n-word if you was in that live, you heard it, but you didn't want to hear it. You rather sit up there and get mad at Scarlett. Now I don't care. Ragnar is a straight up racist. Flat out. I tried to give that man a chance to talk to me after I heard him say racial things on the video. And I tried, and instead he went after he went after uh Scholar, started talking, started lying, saying Scott talked about his kid. So then Scholar said, F, I'm talking about it. I remember when they first started rumors. Scott was like, didn't nobody talk about his kid? And then it's, they kept saying it, kept saying it, kept saying it. So Scott started talking about his kid. I'm not here to defend nobody, but I'm going to tell you what I seen and I'm going to tell you what I heard. That man had every chance to get in this box and talk to us about him being a racist. But instead, he went after Scott on a three-hour live stream. Wasn't it like four hours? Anyways, what I'm going to say is... And I wish I had, I wish I was on my backup account because if I was on my backup account, I could, but I know, I know I'm just going to sit here and chill. What I'm going to say is if Shake Wahlberg, that looks like a white guy. Are you coming up to apologize to me on behalf of all white people, Shake or Shark? Is that what you're doing? You coming up to apologize to me, a black woman for Ragnar calling me a NB? And N B I C H I'm trying to leave it off so I don't get banana. I'm just wondering, is that why you want to come up here? I don't want I don't want that. But I'm asking, what's your purpose of coming up here? Yes, he did call me that. I heard it with my own ears. He said er, that's what he said. That's why I kept asking him in the comments. I'm like, did you really just call me that? Did you call me the N-word Ragnar? Because I asked you, I asked you to come to my page because we heard him say racial things on a video. Matter of fact, since y'all want to sit here and tell me. Yo, this who's, ever, who's ever asking me to go back over there, follow my page. And then uh, uh, go to streetscout.com and follow all my links and then get the fuck out of here. Let me go I, I don't feel like going over there. It's boring. They're all bitches. I'm sorry, Granny. It's, it's okay. I'm going to be saying they're arguing day. with bitches all night long. Like, what the fuck? It was fun for the time that I did it. I'm bored already. The hell? They're not going to do anything. They're, like... I don't go in the presence of racists. I, I'm not going no more. Ragnar brought my name up, and then he did all that weird stuff and called me the N-word. I don't got time for it. Let me pull this up so y'all can hear what Ragnar said. Hold up, let me find it. Oh, there it is. I gotta turn it down till I get to Ragnar's part. 
If y'all want to see a replay of the live I was on, it's going to be on YouTube at Street Scholar TV. Here's Ryan. It actually makes sense for us. Though. I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Like, right, for the melanin community, you're actually putting money into your community, right? And not buying Nikes right. from China, not buying gold chains from other countries. How about putting money into your own? That's my thing. That's what I wanted to hear. This is what this is all about. That statement that Ragnar said is why Ragnar went after Scala because he duetted that. And I heard it. That is why. Not because Scala went after him, because he said that. Yes, he said buying Nikes and, and buying gold chains. I don't think he said that. I think you're putting words in his mouth. This is what I'll say. That man called me an NB. I don't want nobody asking me why I'm sitting in no panel with this when you guys coming over here trying to justify it. I ain't got time for it. They too old to sit up here and go do live streams instead of saying why they said what they said. I wasn't even being mean to this man. I just was going to ask this person that has been around me. I was going to ask him, why did he say that? And did he understand the racial tropes in that? And instead he started attacking a Latino man that told me what happened. I don't care what this man said to that racist. I don't care what this man said to that racist. That racist called me an N word. I don't care what he said to that racist because racists don't care about our kids. So why should I care about theirs? I'm sorry. I don't care about racist kids. I don't. <laughs> I'm sick of y'all sitting up here trying to act like black women are supposed to sit up here and save the world all the doggone time. That man called me an N word B. I'm not going to sit up here and, and, and tell him what not to say to a racist. Again, this is Ragnar. And this is why this all started. Money in the real things that are going to actually make sense for us. Though. I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Like, right, for the melanin community, you're actually putting money into your community, right? And not buying Nikes right. from China, not buying gold chains from not other countries. How about putting money into your own? The fact that he told me and Ragnar did all of this is wow. Let me, let me put this back up here. I'm sorry. We already, we're going to do a, a, you know, we're going to step back to that. The fact that Scala told me what Ragnar said, and I went and listened to that video and I asked Ragnar to come to my space so I can ask him that. He used the hard R when he called me the N word. He used the hard R. But the fact that I asked Ragnar to come in here and talk to me about that statement and instead he went after a Latino man spewing that Trump rhetoric of them being these people that do stuff to little people. Bro, no, that is not okay. You're showing me that you're racist. You attacked the Latino man that told me what you said. Yeah, Ragnar is white. And then he told me he black. He got black in him. Bro, you tagged me in a dog on video that shows you got 6% African in you, bro. And you think because you got 6% that you can sit here and talk about black people like that? I felt like he was talking about my uh, Adidas. He sure did say it. Y'all know his voice. Y'all just heard him. Hold up, let me let me do it again, cause y'all act like y'all ain't paying. Money in the real things that are gonna actually make sense for us. Though. I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Like, right for the melanin community, you're actually putting money into your community, right? And not buying Nikes right. from China, not buying gold chains from not other countries. How about putting money into your own? I'm gonna ask that, and I have the right to ask that to somebody that's been being in my spaces. And instead of him coming to my space. So I can talk to him. He did a whole three to four hour live stream about Scala. Lion saying he talked about his daughter. So then Scala in turn went over there, argued with them, then said, well, since you're saying I'm talking about your daughter, I'm going to talk about your daughter. 
Well, I can't speak for Scholar, but y'all see. Yeah, he said the melanin community trying to be slick. He know what you know what he talking about when he say Nikes and gold chains. Well, he he called me the N word. He called right before they dropped me, and that's why they dropped me. Well, let me play it again if you didn't hear it. This is why he's mad at Scholar calling Scholar all this stuff, bringing up this doggone thing, flipping around the doggone words, just like everybody else. Things that are going to actually make sense for us. I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Like, right, for the melanin community, you're actually putting money into your community, right? And not buying Nikes right. from China, not buying gold chains from not other countries. Right. How about putting money into your own? That is the man that y'all sitting up here as, as people of color or allies that called me the N word. I'm I'm not doing that. Now, the main reason why I want to come out here is because you guys have this ideal of Skylar attacking black women. Skylar doing this, Skylar doing that. But in this video, right here, this woman that was the first one to sit up here and say that, this woman went Granny, to- Granny, so, 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 somebody asked you to play that again. Two people just asked you to play that again. I, I, I think they want to hear it again to make sure. All right. Makes sense for us. I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Like, right, for the melanin community, you're actually putting money into your community, right? And not buying Nikes right. from China, not buying gold chains from not other countries. Right. How about putting money into your own? Do y'all want to hear it again? Do y'all want to hear it again? All I was going to do was talk to the man. Y'all said, yeah, what is up? Scholar, is this what you have to deal with? <laughs> Take that way, hold it. <laughs> Wait a minute. How do y'all? I, mean, I, I heard it the first time, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What we need to do is to start fundamentally investing our money in the real things that are going to actually make sense for us. I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Like, right, for the melanin community, you're actually putting money into your community, right? And not buying Nikes right. from China, not buying gold chains from not other countries. Right. How about putting money into your own? So here's the thing. I sat there and I was like, you know what? I can talk to him and let him know. Yeah, he said Nikes. That I said I can talk to him and let him know where the racial trope is coming from. So maybe he understands instead of people saying he's racist. But instead of coming to my platform, I texted him on this app. I said, come over so I can talk to you about this. Instead of doing that, he did a whole five, four hour live stream about Scala. Him and Scala got to call, got to arguing. He lied in the beginning, talking about Scala, talking about his talking about his daughter and stuff. Scala didn't not originally, until he said he was. That's like me. You tell me that I'm a dog on colorist, fine. I'll be a colorist now. What? Blankety blank. There's some people that's just like that. Y'all can't control it. That man called me the n word with a hard r and a b word afterwards i don't mind that he called me the b word the first time i don't care you can think i'm a b that don't break me nikes and gold chains for real that's stereotypical well he did and a lot of people from here heard him say it heard him say it so that's why Ragnar been on Scholar's neck since Scholar heard him in the live stream and called him out in the live stream. So then it died down a little bit, died down a little bit. Scholar, you know, he, he was doing his own thing. And then we, for some reason, I don't know whether, I don't know why Ragnar's name came up. Someone said they recorded it. Someone said they recorded it. But Ragnar turns around instead of coming over and talking to me, he follows my backup page and then leaves. D goes on in the morning. What does this say? Granny, you defend kids and he has, nope, he has not. He has made racists mad and bigots mad. That's what he has done. He has made racists and bigots mad and you guys are mad at him. I asked that man well, I'll be bugging. I asked that man to come over here and talk to me about the, his racial statement. And instead of doing that, 
he went after a Latino man and used that thing, used the thing that Trump supporters do about Latinos. He never, he never talked about raping a baby. Stop. Don't say it. Show the proof. You guys say that all the time. I have all the screenshots from that dog on Twitter, y'all, and nothing in there says that. Nothing in there says that. No, I know the Twitter and the person that they're talking about was like 18, 19, 20 years old. When he hey said, hey, hi, moon child. Granny, the people in the comments are getting confused. I, They're thinking that he was saying he was calling you the N word in that clip that you was just playing. No, when, yeah, that's just what they're thinking. The N -word. No, he just called me the N word because of that clip. Yeah, it's he, Davis. Thank I just you, came up to tell you because they was getting confused and I was trying to tell him like, no, he said it today in a live with them. Yeah. It has nothing to do with their clip, but that's what he's mad about is from that clip that you was playing. Yeah, I was in that the AV shows live and before that man dropped me, he called me an N word B. Yep, in that live. That, that video that I was playing is why he started Rampage after Scholar. Okay, hey, I just wanted to come up Latino and Latino let con. you know. Thank you, Moonchild. You're welcome. Bye. So you said he just told a Mexican man he calling. I... <laughs> That's between two Latino people. I'm not going to tell two Latino people how to argue with each other. And do y'all think that Scholar was born here? No offense, Scholar. <laughs> he can... That's between two Latinos. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's why when that's, that's like when white people fight. I ain't in that stuff. That's that's a white people thing. The white people are going at it. But if you call me a, a flipping racist word, and you expect me to take up for you after you call me the in, how is it racist? He they're both Latino. So can a can a black person be racist toward a black person? Y'all stop moving the goalposts. Stop moving the goalposts. Ragnar did, right? Be no, they cannot be racist. Toward Are y'all? Oh my gosh, y'all! This is why they say that y'all need CRT. This is why they say y'all need CRT. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> two races cannot be. Two races can't. Uh, not racist, but two people of the same race cannot be racist toward each other. That makes no sense. Exactly, Texas. That is wild. Well, I know that two races can't be racist against each other. I don't care what you want to call the race. Two people from that demographic, let's say that. AV is the guy that Scholar was on there cussing out races, and everybody came in trying to come at Scholar. And I went up there because the man brought my name up, and he lied. He didn't tell the whole story because everybody knows someone in the comments earlier said they had a recording of it, of when he called me the N word. The fact that he said that and y'all is cool with that, but y'all coming in here. Yeah, it was on AV's live. He, he called me B's. Maga, did you hear him say you in B word right before that guy dropped me off the box? I saw it. Did you hear him say that before he dropped me off the box? Exactly. No, no, no. I'm talking about before the white people came up. So Brooklyn, I don't I've seen you before on somebody's videos. They said that you're a straight up conservative. Brooklyn's a I got her, y'all. I got her. Brooklyn was on somebody's video, I think on that one guy's video. Well, if you guys a hey. If we said black people, we'd be racist. Black people? What do y'all... Oh, Lord, the conservatives are here. Yeah, Brooklyn. Yo, 59, 59 Films is a guy who thinks he's white. He's not going to agree with you. <laughs> 59 Films, you're okay with Ragnar calling me an N-word. He thinks he's white. He's just like Lumberjack. That the, that They have this thing where they think they're white. Allison, I, I have I have people that are conservatives in my box that are Black Lives Matter. Make that make sense. They're not bad people, but they come in with that ideology is weird. 
Well, it just happened. And when it's downloaded, when it's downloaded, I sure I'm going to show the proof. Wait, what did Brittany say? Yes. Hold on, Brittany. Let me get you. There you oh, hold on. I guess you're going to you can only have 30 here, Brittany. So when I tell you, give me a second. I got to remove. I got to change one out here. Moderators. All right, give me a second. All right. Okay, Brittany, let me see. Hi, hi, I make bangers. There you go. Thank you, Brittany. Yo, you, yo, I'm about to go. Yo, these idiots who be asking, like, yo, they, they like, do you like white people? You're talking about a racist white guy who said some shit, but then you're asking if, if you like white people. Pat Celtics prods. Oh, they dropped. I was going to let them in. But here's my thing. So let me see what that what that poll said earlier. Let me see what that poll said. Because my thing is, y'all have to really, dang, they said Scala. Even though Ebony's the one, hi, Hinta. Even though Ebony's the one that went after Scala first and made multiple videos about him, that makes Scala the bad guy. It's because Ebony's a woman. It's because Ebony's a woman. You're always going to be the bad guy, no matter how much proof they see. Thank you, Brittany. No matter how much proof they see, they're always going to say, can you tell me what really happened from the... Yes. Okay, so what happened was Ragnar was in a live stream. The live stream I kept playing on here. And he said, and Ragnar, there you are, and I should block you, but I'm not going to block you after you called me the N-word. I'm not even cool with that, bro. And we're gonna, I'm going to have it on tape. And everybody going to see. But anyways, Ragnar was in a live stream with a black guy named Conservative, right? And he said that statement that I kept playing about black people with um, gold chains in China. What is it? Um, the Nikes from China, not buying them from there and investing our money in our own cities or communities. And so... Him, they all had it out because Scala spoke up and was like, yo, bro, that's racist. So then time goes by. Scala ends up over my life a few days ago. And he he mentions it. I go look at it and I see the video and I'm like, whoa. And the other person in the box that's a black man was like, hey, that was racist. He's racist. And I said, well, wait a minute. I said, wait a minute. I want to talk to him before I say he racist. I want to give him a chance to speak. I'm gonna see if I can show him that what he said was racist. So then he turned around, instead of, I, I messaged him on this account, cause I was on my backup. I said, come over to my backup account, cause I wanna ask you about what you said. And he was like, he was like, you know, okay, or whatever, hard it did or whatever he did. Fossey is only mad because I called him out. No, and that's, that right there is a racial trope, cause you're lying, you're lying. That picture is of a grown ass, two grown women and a grown person. And he's, and who, if it was his, he wasn't talking about them anyways. So Ragnar, hold on Ragnar, I'm gonna finish my sentence, baby. You can't deflect from this baby. You can't deflect from this baby. You're gonna be quiet and you're gonna be quiet for at least a minute for me to finish. So what happened was Ragnar, got mad that Scala told us about the video footage of him saying that racial trope. So after that, Ragnar, instead of coming to my live stream, Ragnar came over and he followed my backup account. But the next morning, he did a whole live stream talking about Scala, dragging him, trying to drag him. Scala goes over there, they get in an argument. Then Ragnar's talking about granny, you this, 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 this. And I'm like, Ragnar, bro, I asked you a question. I actually come over so I could ask you about a racial trope and you deflected by going after Scala. It doesn't matter. He deflected his racism by going after a, La a Latino man, a Hispanic man. 
So in my eyes, I'm like, wait a minute. I literally just wanted to ask you about that. I got the proof. Do you want it? Let me, let me, let me show you the proof. Hold on. This is what I want to ask him about. You know what I mean? Like, right, for the melanin community, you're actually putting money into your community, right? And not buying Nikes right. from China, not buying gold chains from right. other countries. How about putting money into your own? So I sat here and I was just like, I'm not going to instantly call him racist because I'm not like that. I have to have a conversation with him because he's been in my spaces and I don't feel that every white person is racist. All sometimes, all you got to do is talk to them and say, hey, that's a little racist, bro. And then they say either I stand in that, and then you say, well, as a black person, I feel that it's racist. Or they say, hey, I get what you're saying. Next time I talk about it, you know what I mean? That's what happens over here. Instead, he goes the flex by going after a Latino man, I'm sorry, Hispanic man, and not even addressing it. Finally comes over to my live stream. They go at it. I dropped Skylar out the box because of what he said to Ragnar about his daughter and him. I, my life gets taken down. I come back on my live stream and I say, and it's on my backup account, everything I said from my live stream. And I told Skylar, I don't like that, it's weird, bro. Then he goes on a rant saying that I support this and that and this and that. And I told Ragnar, you already know Scala has no filter. So you knew when you started going after Scala that it was going to deflect from the fact that you said a racial trope and you didn't want to face it from somebody you sat in boxes with, panels with for a year, Ragnar. We have been cool for a year. And you couldn't give me the decency. Now that man called me an N-word. Yo, bitch. real quick, block me. Block me because she's a Nazi too. She's a whole racist. The Mia person? Yeah, she's a Nazi. Just like Ragnar. Whole fucking swastika and everything. Mia, I don't even know why you would call me. You know, I know exactly who you are, you racist weirdo. No, no, no. Ragnar had his chance. Ragnar called me an N-word B with the hard R. I will never talk to him again. Yes, truthful patriot. Um, Street, can we not cuss people out and, and not talk about nobody's kids? Okay, well, no, I haven't. I've been quiet. I'm letting you talk them too. Thank you, but I'm about to add this man up. His name, he got the word patriot in his name. Oh, let me guess. Oh, wait, though, but wait a minute. We got, hey, Sobe, Sobe. I was about to say, I'm like, that's Sobe. It's Sobe. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Yeah. Ragnar called me an N-word B. I'm, well, I, you surprised? I told yeah, you. Yeah, and who's surprised? I, yo, I was there when it happened. I was like, well, is, is, is you think his racist white friends are going to say anything? They don't give a shit. And the black people came in I mean, here going after him, talking about, oh, you platforming. Yes. It won't let you request a box. Let me see. Okay, so this guy should come up for a moment. Well, I mean, it just it just shows you that I was right all along. I know, again. and he's been trying <laughs> to tell me this for a year. Hello, Truth for Patriot. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so sorry. Let me get this. Let me get this bass out of my voice because oh, you're I'm good, not man. Happy at all, you know what I'm saying? Because good, I've known man. this man for a whole year. Yeah. A whole um, year, I've let him in my space, and I know I, a lot of conservatives know who I am. Yeah, I came in um, just a few minutes ago on my other account. I guess your mod muted me. Uh, this is my backup, but uh, I'm just I, I joined in that other live. I guess a little late. But I don't know what's going on. My name's Cameron. I'm the founder of the Grab His Arm movement. We help women and DV. We help kids. We help all kind of people. Um, the only thing I was trying to say is I don't know what started their confrontation, but I do have 
video proof of Mr. Scala stating, you know, what he was going to do to that child. And then it's going to be on YouTube that. later. What about it? Well, I'm not trying to argue. I, I'm not one to argue, bro. I'm just, if I can't talk and you can just listen. But, uh, well, I just said that it's going to be on YouTube later. What does it matter? I, okay, I record all well, my own lives. Well, here's the thing I'm not here to argue, man. I'm just here to state I what I, I, I want to hear what he says because I want to know what you have to say about racist. Oh, if, if anybody's being racist, I don't care who you are. If you're racist against another race, I have no use for you. You're better off in a pine box. That's the way I look at it. I don't see race. I see everyone as, as humans. We are all one color, different shades, and if people can't get along and they're going to be racist, I have no use for you whatsoever. None. So before you go on, because I, I get why the other black people be like, wait one moment, because you're trying to pull at the heart strength. I, I get what you're saying, because I'm a DV survivor and all that other stuff. What I want to say is this. If you know as a grown man that you said a racial trope in a video and the black woman that you're cool with and you've been coming in her spaces for a year yeah if you know that the person who told me that and i just wanted to talk to you about it if you know they talk about you your mama your kids your daddy your brothers they say the most vile things just to piss you off you go after him instead of talking to the person i know why he went after scholar he didn't want to face me about the racial tropes that he said. And that is not okay with me because everybody knows Skylar's a troll. Everybody knows that if you argue with Skylar, he's going to talk about everybody all the way down to their toes. Yeah. And to Man. do that, to provoke that, to keep going with that, to turn around and pull up some stuff from 15 years ago on Twitter when people were kids or however old people was. Yeah. Today, you said a racial trope. And you purposely went after a troll that is going to sit there in front of thousands of people and say whatever the heck he want to and whenever the heck he says it and however he says it, no matter whose feelings it hurts. So I'm going to be honest. I could care less about what happened. This man did it on purpose. If you open Pandora's box, there it is. And a lot of people are going to be upset. But it showed me today when he called me the N-word B. Yeah. When he called me that, it, it solidified what everybody was telling me about him because I'm not one of those people that just believe somebody's a racist. I was giving that man grace. And when I sat here and watched him do what he did, yeah. and he said, you platformed this person, you plat I don't care. I platformed you, not you, but I yeah. platformed him and they, people they he a racist. Yeah, they and never want to sit up here and try and point the fingers at people and stuff. There's certain words that everybody's so sensitive about. And, and I agree. And, the kids, yes, is off limits. I well, agree with that. But them are two grown men well, that make both of their decisions. Here's yeah, my I mean, thing, if, right? Yeah. Okay. Scholar does what Scholar does, right? But does that give him the, this does not excuse right? I'm not even bored. I know what Scholar do. But now yeah. you, who's been coming on Granny's platform for a year and pretending to be somebody that I knew you weren't because I've been telling her and you decided to call her the n-word b that was in you from the beginning like I said it was you are you can't there's no apology for that there's no no thing yeah, and I agree with you race yeah if, he, if he's calling you. her that then that is in then, you and you need yeah. to work on that exactly I agree with that and you know whenever two men go at it if you can't go at you know you can't adult up and and excuse my language, let your balls drop and go at another man, you know, doing it that way. But you got to bring kids into it. That's where myself, you know, that's where I get involved. Ragnar kids do not racism into it. Yeah. Oh, and, oh, and, yo, and, yo, wait, 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 wait. First of all, yo, what Ragnar posted up an address that he thinks is mine. Let's just say that was my address, which it wasn't because Ragnar's a fucking Nazi. He doesn't know any better. Let's mm -hmm. say that was my address and that's where my kids lived at. Then what? I'll but go after him. Steps over. I go after, well, there you go. Well, he posted he an address. Let, let's say if somebody pulls up to that address thinking I live there and there's kids there. What are you going to do about it, Mr. Patriot? He, he he just had a whole live where he was posting a random address With saying it was mine. Okay, well, here's here's the thing, bro. And like That's I told you, I ain't got no, I ain't got beef with you. I ain't got beef with him. But you're not going to talk to me like I'm a 12-year-old kid. That, no, that shit won't be tolerated, like, What are you going to do? Because he, he, he just posted here's, an address here's online. The thing. I don't what know who's that address is. What I'm going to do, if you, let me, if you let me talk real quick, Sorry. bro. 
Wait, 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 wait. I think everybody needs to listen to this. In this panel, we talk. We are. We do not police p p tone police. We don't do that. And you're going to feel uncomfortable because we're going to talk about some uncomfortable realizations. And that's no offense to anybody. We have power behind us like you have power behind you. That's in our voice and our soul. We're on here. We're humans. So let's let's keep it that way. I'm, I'm unmuting both of you guys. I apologize for interrupting you. You're fine. Thank you. And like I said, I'm not here to argue. I'm just here to state, you know, what I seen with my eyes, what I heard with my ears. If he's being racist okay. and I did hear it, I promise you he's not he's not safe. And I'll tell you that now. If anybody, okay. I've had these accounts. I've had accounts on here. I've lost 1.1 million followers, brother. I've been doing this a long time. But the thing of it is, the beef I have with him is the racism. And I will handle that. You got my word. But the beef that I have with you, Scholar, is you don't bring kids into it stating that some little girl is going to be sucking dick and everything else, brother. You don't do that, man. You don't say that, you know, a child needs to be unalived. I have video proof of it. You don't no, I didn't say don't she needs to be unalived. I said, I hope she does. It, okay, is that cool, man? That's a child, brother. What if that was your child? You going to talk to your I, kids that no, way? No, no, but he's posting an address, so I want him to see to come to that address. Well, see, he probably won't show up. He's one he of them won't. internet. He's he's an internet gangster. He ha he has no balls. He's not going to show up. You know that just as good as I do. But when it comes to kids, that that's where I have a problem. I do show up. I've been arrested more times than you can count because I show up. I protect those kids. Kids are innocent. They are off limits. But my thing is, why would you put them well, in you know harm's way? I'm just wondering, you know, you know, you know that this, this man is going to talk about your kids. Why are you doing that other than to deflect? Now, I'm going to let you hear this. I want to, can, can everybody mute so that, so that right. truthful patriot, this is why this all started. Yes, ma'am. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm sorry. I am a little older. Let me just get the, here it is. Okay. Hold on. This is on Cocoon. Stop Service fundamentally thing. investing our money in the real things that are going to actually make sense for us. Yeah. I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Like, right. For the melanin community, you're actually putting money into your community, right? And not buying Nikes right. from China, not buying gold chains from right. other countries. How about putting money into your own? So when we heard that, yeah. one of them said, oh, that's racist. One of the black people said, oh, that's racist. The other black person, me, said, well, wait, let me talk to him. Because, you know, I've known this man for a year and some months. I'm sitting here, and the reason why he's so upset with Scala is because Scala is the one that told us about it. Yeah. And the next morning, someone comes over to my live stream asking the Scala, did you talk about Ragnar's kids? Scala's like, I didn't talk about Ragnar's daughter, this and that. So then he goes over to Ragnar's spot. Ragnar's spreading all this stuff because he's deflecting from coming to my life to have an adult conversation about that between two mutuals me and him were not just passing by on this app he came in all the time hey granny what's up blah 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 i'm like yeah. hey ragnar blah 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 he can come up we can chill he can kick it with us he even sat up here and was talking about how he's all these different races and he's not well he got six percent is not that but anyways then he turns he does this then he's saying us so scott is like fine i'll talk about her now what because when you sit there and say something and you're deflecting from your own racism, it, I didn't even see it as racist until he went after the Latino man. Yeah. Then that's what you guys seen today. Because here's this man deflecting from just being a man and coming over to a doggone platform on TikTok. Just right. to say. Yeah. I said, first, I, of all, first of all, I, that, let's start let, that whole live and everybody on that live was per 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 perpetuating racism today because everyone on there, all the women, the men, including Patrick Genty, mm -hmm. was per perpetuating racism. All of it, because why? They hate Scholar. Genty got on that platform because he knew. He knew what he was doing. He worked with racists just to get at Scholar. I watched it and I was disgusted. Yeah. I'm not disgusted, gonna- Disgusted, but what? I knew well, I don't I don't agree with what Scholar was saying, but I knew why he was saying it. Because what are y'all gonna do? Nothing. Because I would do we, the damn same thing. Exactly, and we got to understand too. Say if, you know, say if you know I am a white man, 
um, say if somebody, you know, of color or anybody Asian, it doesn't matter, come after me making racial remarks. Okay, yes, it's wrong to making the racial remarks, and I will fucking put it to an end very quickly because I don't stand under that. We are all human. I don't see race. I, I never have. I got a mixed daughter, and I never will see race. But we all have to agree to disagree that, you know, what Scala said about kids is very inappropriate. It was wrong. And it should, I'm not it, wrong. It I don't feel I mean. wrong. I, I have no respect for a fucking Nazi. And, and well, that's, understa I mean, that's understandable, but you can't take it out on a child, man. You, I mean, you get what I'm saying? Okay, nah, I, really not, don't. I, I agree he's, he's that not it out on child. Is wrong, right? But he said it to Ragnar, the not the child. Not the child. And I was saying The same way they were trying to trigger Scala, Scala triggered them back. That was what that was. It's the same thing. Right. You want to trigger him? So he triggered you back. Except for he was laughing at y'all the whole fucking time. That's the point. Like, you, you all don't get to pick a fight with somebody and tell them police what the fuck they say to y'all. Nobody right. well, does. I, I appreciate you guys you letting me in the box. I appreciate you guys, you know, taking time to listen to me. But obviously, it, we're going to be stuck on the racism and we're not going to address the fact that... Because that's all it's about. It because there, that's nobody all it's cares. about. You know what started it. On it. Because I'm a black not, man. No, listen, I'm not going to say nobody. Of course, just stuck forget about it. the racism. Let's man. talk about wait, wait. the kid. Let's not talk about her. Uh, that, that kid's uh, fucking dad being a whole Nazi. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> the fact that it happened is a reaction yeah. to racism. If he stops being racist and picking on people to deflect from his racism, because everybody knows that they're going to be madder at Scala for what he says about kids and all this other stuff, than him being racist. No one's going to talk to him about him being racist. Nobody. Right. And, and, right. and once right. again, let, let, let's just say that address he posted was right. None of these white motherfuckers ever thought about, oh, what if he does live there? What if his kids are there? Because guess what? You white motherfuckers don't care about fucking colored kids. You don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because you, you, that whoa, whoa, never hey, crossed hey. your mind. That what if I, I did live there and child. my kids was there? I have a mixed child. So yeah. You cannot say well, think about that, bro. That and the two white people in the comments said, what about the kid? What about my kids? Fuck his kids. Okay, well, hold on. Wait a minute. I have a mixed child, so you can't say all white people. You can't put what he did and say all white people are the same. He just came from a panel of all white people being racist. So I don't think he's talking about what? All right, okay. well, I appreciate you being in here. I'm going to do what Hello? I do best. Scholar, if you don't mind, give me a follow because I'm going to show you what I do best, bro. What the that, hell? That, that, and I don't know. Is, I don't know if that was white people talk. Like, let's let's talk this out because he asked you to follow him. I don't know what that was. I don't know what the I fuck mean, that I don't even fuck. know. What but he was cool was. though. I, mean, I ain't gonna hit I mean, on him. I'm, no, he wasn't. No. Well, no, I'm saying because you know, that, that in your window, that in your yeah. window threats don't fucking work on nobody. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. And because you got a black kid, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, black Next kid, I don't give a fuck. You don't get up here with that bullshit. He the said us colored. How you gonna get mad at him for saying us colored people? Y'all weird. The fuck out of here. That bullshit. Y'all want to deflect from racism to fucking talk about your fuck your kids. <laughs> exactly. Yo, Trooper praise for you. No, uh, uh, for respectfully suck my dick. Uh -uh, You're not gonna good. do shit Watch just like language. fucking Ragnar. Thank you. Watch I'm sorry, Brandon. I'm you. sorry. I'm sorry. And so, yo, these people really really thinks that anybody believes them. This is why I said everything I said about Ragnar, because guess what? Post up that address. You're not doing nothing about it. What nothing. You you're not was, pulling up. You're not going what, anywhere. What Scott and and, and his racist you. ass is still in the comment section. All he's worried about is Ragnar's dirty ass little white kid. That's all he's worried about. He don't what? care about my kids. He don't care about no. If they're white, that's all he's worried about. That's the only reason he came over here, because of the white kid. Yeah. Right, Granny. <laughs> I, Man, this. I, once I, I heard his voice, I knew he was a racist. I'm a, no, I knew he was a racist. Like, the minute I heard let him. Me, let me say this real let quick. Me say this. Let, let me say, say this. Let me say. No, because I've been trying to say this for two minutes. Because Scarlett had a whole monologue. What I want to say, real quick, 
is I get what Scott is saying because they don't care about our kids. They don't. They don't care that racism is still running rampant across this app. They don't care that they send up here putting up addresses in my doggone thing where there's still kids. They don't care. Literally, they don't care. It's crazy. They, they don't, don't care. care. But let me I'm say not this. gonna fight for people that are racist. I'm telling y'all right now. And y'all racists can get upset with me. Everything I said in that lot, I'm gonna post it and I'm and I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna put a smile on my face when I'm talking about. It. I don't care. You think I'm gonna care about a Nazi and his Nazi kid? I don't care. I don't think the kids are Nazis though. His kid is a Nazi to me. I think the kids have a chance. If they learn know, from their parents. It's, they it's learn. They learn. I'm not, I don't care about a racist and their kids. Never I, will. Never will. Listen. I'll I'm say it all follow. again. Hey, Patriot guy, if you want to follow me, I'll say it all again on the live with just you. I want you to do something. Listen, I don't care about what two men say to each other about whatever on this internet. I do personally care about all kids, but if you sit up there and you're being a racist and this man talks about something that's going to get to you because you know how easy it is for them to say the N word to us and to call, to call Hispanic. He, he, that guy didn't even care you, that, that, that he called you the N word. He completely skipped over he that. Didn't even, he didn't, he care. didn't even right, address exactly. that. That's you said he yeah. called you the N word. He, he didn't even address that. He, he didn't whatever. even address the fact that he called. Like, that's just crazy to me. You're going to excuse the fact that he said the, the NB to granny. Like, are you really exactly. going to sit here and address it? Man, fuck his kids. This is crazy to me. <laughs> People in the comments to talk about, oh, well, it's all about the kids. Okay, yeah, the kids should be left alone. But no one's addressing the fact that he called her the N-word. So that's letting me know the people that's in the comments is saying, oh, well, it's not about that. You're making it about yourself. It's about the kids. That should be they're racist. My eyes, you're racist. Because they're the already racist. The day, they don't care. And, and once true. again, if that address was real and my Spanish kids was there, once again, these white motherfuckers, they still don't care because they're racist. They don't look at they don't look at us as them. They don't give a shit about that. Because they they, over, they, they, over, they overlook racism to see everything else. That's what it is. Yeah, because because guess what? Because they're inherently racist themselves. Exactly. Because I'm sorry, you, that is not right for anyone to be called any racial slur. And you guys are going to come on her platform and tell her to quit making it about herself. When what did Granny do to him for him to uh, call her that? Like what? And, and then said you saw when, to when, do with what Granny has done. She did not deserve then, to be called but, that. But then you saw when he got up here what he said, right? He was just like, oh, and anyone can be racist. Excuse me? No, anyone cannot. Excuse me? Excuse me, white man? Did I just hear you correctly and then make a threat talking about you don't, not afraid of police? Well, bitch, show up. Nobody show believed fuck that up, fucking man. guy. Nobody. But when, when somebody got to say that, you already know they're full of shit. I feel like kids should be left out of it. But at the end of the day, when you're coming at people, you you don't know what they're going to say or do. So if you're going to sit up here and argue with somebody, you not you might want to get ready for them to talk about your kids or your family. So right, because uh, I if do you it don't want you somebody to talk about me, your family, your whole life. don't come at somebody. I don't care if it's you, him, or the next person. Don't come at somebody if you're not maybe ready. I, maybe I should to put it in my bio. You. I should put in my bio, I will talk about your kids, your dead granny, and your mommy. So if you want to attack me, be be mindful, because I'm going to do it. What the fuck you going to do? Uh, oh, snap. I know it's, I tried to get to the other account. These comments are just crazy. Like, it just blows my mind how people are <laughs> like, oh, it's not about you being called a racial slur. It's about the kids. That's what got me so right, like, it's like I heard it. So basically, and this I is what kills me, know. is people in here, they say that they don't like white, racist white people, but then you're in the live with racist white people. White people because, to attack oh. a person of color. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Like, make that make sense. Exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. So you, you will work with racists because you have a common enemy, another person of color. Exactly. That's what y'all been doing for two years anyway. And you still okay. see I ain't gone nowhere. 
Every here's the thing. It would be great if everybody was people's respectful, logic is this, is weird to me on this app. It makes him. no sense. But here's the thing. If you saying that, if you saying somebody like, okay, let's take this for instance. When when uh Petty Roll said that I was calling her a monkey, they want to know what is um that guy's at. I don't know what his at is. I don't either. But like when they said, "Oh, you're calling," that's like someone saying, "Oh, you're calling me a monkey," but I ain't never did it, and people are attacking me for it. Then I'm gonna start calling yeah. you one. If I'm gonna right. attack for it, anyways, I'm gonna start talk. I'm gonna start doing it. Well, yes, where I'm waiting on it to happen. I don't know where to. Anybody got on YouTube yet, or is it on the, any of the T pages? They're asking for the video. Yeah, I'm trying to. Hey, of him it saying happen, it. So I'm just waiting. Listen to me. I, me. Granny told me he called her that. So guess what? I'm gonna take it at. I don't no, need I no was video. there. I heard it. I don't yeah. need no video. I don't need nothing. Well, there's a bunch of people that was in the comments earlier saying that he did say it and that he was trying to clear his name for what he had said about the Nikes and the gold chains or whatever. Oh, there is sassy. Where's it at? Tap the there screen, guys. Where's it at, sassy? I was recording the live in, in segments. I, I, I have to check if I have that, but the, I was there for four hours. I got to comb through it. Okay, Fei Fei. See, original artist. Yeah, there's other people's faces. Is she's not able to cut the clips right now. It's all right. No, it's she all has right. it too. Because we'll go on my Yeah, yeah, me, me too. Yo, I, I got four hours of footage. Like, I got to. Austin. That's going to take a while. Austin said he heard it too. So I mean, there's a bunch of people that heard it. So I was shocked. I, I'm not gonna lie. I was shocked because I was like, I still had a little hope in this. Listen to me, every everybody on that platform, besides Genty and and Scholar, was racist as the last one of them. That was wow. And then the host, he kicked you out once he said that to you. Yeah, when he called me. <laughs> I was like, what the? Well, I'm like, I was going down my For You me? page, and I seen you in there arguing with him, and I watched it for a little bit, then I left, right? Yeah, I couldn't keep it watching it because saying, it was so though? disgusting. Did you hear anything I was saying, mm -hmm. though? I was just like, okay. But it was only him and Scarlet in there at the time. He was like, oh, this dumb B. And I'm like, I didn't care about that. It's just I'm crazy like, like people. You know wrong is wrong. But then you go, I'm on sorry, my way out the door, you call me an NB and this and the mm -hmm. host drops me and I can't even respond to you. They're like, Granny, go back up. No, why? Where did Granny go? I'm here. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yep, just clip it. I had I had walked away from the phone, so I didn't hear it. So I got to yeah, guess what happens, Granny, it's when right you post that. They drop me. Oh, well, Granny, you know what's gonna happen when you post that? None of his racist friends are gonna give a shit. You can send that shit personally to Snacks. He'll be like, "Uh, what did he mean, though?" Exactly. <laughs> what was the content? <laughs> what did she say? Lumberjack's gonna be like, "But what did that really mean?" <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just I'm over it. I, you know, but the whole thing is everybody like, already thinks it. he's racist is already gonna know he's racist. They're not gonna and then the people who do who who don't give a shit about that are not gonna give a shit. They just said worse shit in their lives. Did you just say that calling the girl calling fat? That, who calls Wait, someone fat? They said and calling that girl fat was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she is fat. Who's he, fat? I'm confused. He said now. triggered. Triggered? Nah, I know what he. I heard what he said. Yeah, it's the norm for them, for real. Like that's why they don't care. That's why they kept. They was coming in here like it's not about that. It's about the kids. It's about the kids. Send, send it's me about the white that, kid. Send me the. It was like some lady that Fuck was in the comments. Here's the thing, y'all. All of those people that was all them white people on that platform, they use that word on a regular with each mm. other. When talking about black send people, it, that's why they don't care. Send it to it my Instagram. Send it to mm -mm. my Instagram. He just probably dropped her so um, she couldn't defend herself. So Granny Paul wasn't able to defend herself. So she had to go to the comments. You know what I mean? Like, what? If you should have dropped anyone, it should have been him. 
whether you agree with him or not. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Scala I did. I was like, there was no way I could get Scala to let me talk, and Scala was going in. I was like, Drum. no, I bet he did. Because I was getting what she had said. I'm like, did me. anybody stick up for him? She said Scala did. I was like, well, I figured he would, but I'm talking about anyone else. And she's like, no. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm. This person saying that what we heard, so Faye saying what we heard, and she said that she's not trying to take up for him. She's saying that what we heard was triggered. That sound, that, that, let me tell you something. One thing you don't do is put anything around it. I'm going to, I'm going to get that clip right now. Because it sure the hell sounded like, I'm just saying, when you got the er at the end before you say B. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know when you send it, Fei Fei. Yes, he was tearing them up. That's why they mad. All of mm -hmm. all not eight of them couldn't even handle Scholar. They couldn't. Mm -hmm. Damn, it's so sad and pathetic. So triggered by one man. The one, said. the one man army. <laughs> hey, this is what I said like the other night. It's it's crazy Fractal, how many Fractal. people you have hate you. That you get underneath their skin so bad that they're so bothered. They're so fragile. They're, their fragile white egos got hurt. And they thought that black people, they thought every black person was just gonna jump on board with them. No, we're not we're not Patrick Genty. We're not gonna jump on board with your dumb asses. Yeah, we're really not. Everything they did in there was racist. They were like really how could you good. even look over? Just because you hate Scholar, you're gonna overlook a bunch of racists being racist to, to get to take on one person. That's how pathetic you are. Yeah. Like that's crazy. It's like the fact that people sit up here and they say how they can't stand racist people, especially racist white people. But then when a white tea person calls someone the N-word, just because you don't like that person. You're gonna support the white tea person. You're, you're support, yeah, exactly. It's crazy. So that just shows me you don't care about people being racist. You just don't want racist people being racist towards yourself or your yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> When's the last time you seen any of these fucking weirdos take on a bunch of racists? But Skylar got to come through. <laughs> Oh shit, that was fun though. I it was like lie. last night and today. You was back to back on it. I don't give a fuck, yo. These people, they don't, they, they, yo. That's yo. I had to go harder on that idiot as I did because once he started posting that address, I was like, "What do you? Like, let's just, let's just let everybody I mean, know. You're not gonna do nothing with it. Nothing. And then, and then Patrick keeps singing it in the in the live. He was singing it like, "Are you gonna show up, then, Patrick?" He's not. Yeah, that's what I'm like. You over there, like, you have so much. <laughs> Vitriol for this man, but you're not pulling up on him. Shut up. But the you crazy thing, somebody else go do your dirty work for you. It's like it's weird because what if there is kids there? You posted an address. It doesn't matter if it was Scholar's address or somebody else's address. They're innocent kids there, but you guys are about the kids. They don't care about other it's people. It's not that. The they guy who came in here was a fucking racist like the rest okay, of them. He all he cared about is what is Ragnar's white, dirty ass kid. That's, that's the only kid he cared backup. about. Let's go to my backup because I, you guys, <laughs> <my> backup. <laughs> no, why? I because I don't like I don't like that being said. Okay, my bad. I won't say it again. I, I'll Everybody, be. I'll go. No, we're going to the backup. We're going to the backup. <laughs> all right. Jesus loves you is up to him to accept it but he wishes, if he doesn't accept it then the scriptures say you dust your feet and you let your testimony be towards him you I see agree. but keep on talking to him about it is that going to bring him closer to it according to yeah. scripture because i can only basically tell you according to scripture one of the things that we do and i think it's real bad as christians is we try to mic migrate 
migrate, I think that's the correct way, migrate Christians into Christianity. And we can't do that. You see what I'm saying? We can't do that. But what we can do is just let them know, you know, Jesus loves you. Sure. You know, sure. and we leave it. That's all we can do. We can't do no more than that. I find that works more, I mean, than anything. I just wanted to share that because I know him. You know, I talk to him. He talks this to me. And I believe at the time that God has for him, he'll be able to receive the word. I well, I hope so. I hope so. And, well, I got my brother. Talk. My brother, can I give you one bit of advice with no disrespect? Sure, go ahead. Never tell a non-believer I hope so. Never. Why? Why not? Because that's a negative statement. Don't you dare question Randall Jamal. That's a Same. dangerous. It's dangerous. But because... we all we have hope though right no 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 we can't because let me explain something to you it's biblical it's, it's in the bible we should have no no hope. that's not biblical it's not it, it didn't say hopeful in the bible let me explain something to you if i may if i may the bible says how do they come unless i send them god has to do the sending it says he that hears my voice will not turn to another the Bible said that. The Bible also please said, they that worship me, worship me in spirit and truth. The Bible said that. Not, they never hear the Bible said, hopeful. It said, he that has faith. Right? It said, now faith is a substance of things hoped for. Right? Faith is a substance of things hoped for. Evidence of things not seen. But when you're telling a brother, you know, you leave it in his hand, you say, hopeful, that's like a person that just now stopped smoking cigarettes and you say, oh, now, why well, I haven't seen you smoking cigarettes for three days. Keep up the good work. Person pulls out another cigarette. We have to remember when we're talking to non-believers, we have to turn around and say, you know, I believe God is going to deal with you. That's it. God's going to take care of you, all your needs. That's it. And that's just me saying it with love, my brother. That's all I'm saying. Amen. Amen. I with Randall. Thank you. I, I have a question. So, like, um, so what, what does that mean in, in turning to Christ or, or what were you trying to say? Like, well, what does that mean to you? Well, basically, so, to me, or are you asking the, the brother that was... No, I'm asking you, Randall. Oh, me? It just means when I was shot with an M16... You know, it didn't touch me. When I was um, stabbed with a machete, it didn't go towards me. It means God got you. You see what I'm saying? When I got hit in the head with a baseball bat, I'm still here. When I went blind, I got my eyesight back. The Bible says, now that I'm young, right? It said, when I was young, right? And now, right, I am old, but I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their seed begging bread. You see what I'm saying? So you saw, you know, I got swatted. All right. 24 police officers came to my house. Oh, my gosh. All right. Somebody lied and said I had two officers on the ground. You know, we ain't going to use that word, but we're going to say I had a brick. And when that didn't work, the same people called me, called the cops again. This time it was 10 police officers. Now, it was the grace of God they didn't throw me on the floor. It was the grace of God they didn't raise their guns. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's the grace. You look on the videos, you see. And then the cops said, whoa, we know you. All right? They know when I was an auxiliary police officer, they, they did their research. You know, and I said, I might go back in. They said, that was good. Wow. A legend. That's God. All praises to God. Because you know me being a black person is a dangerous species. You remember what happened to the last person that happened to? They're not here anymore. So that's what it means to me. God got you. And the last one is Mark 
Mark 16, 16. If you believe, you shall be saved, right? But you got to be baptized. If you believe and you are baptized, then you shall be saved. But if you don't believe, then you should be damned. And the word damned means you shall be stopped. Me, I don't want to be stopped. I want to be moving for Christ. Uh, can I say something? I, I say that turning to Christ means when you repent, meaning that you turn away from your own ways and you turn to Jesus Christ, his ways, right? And you give your life to him, you submit to him, right? And when you do that, he transforms you from the inside out. It's a supernatural experience. It happened to me unexpectedly when I was a teenager. I was like, whoa, Jesus is real. And he gives you a new heart and a new mind. And you start to have this hunger for the word of God. And you just want to do his will. You want to live righteously because now you belong to God. Mm -hmm. um, when you turn to Jesus Christ, right, you, you turn from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And his spirit will enter you and you start to have like this love for people. Like I had this love for people I didn't even know like that I that was capable of, right? Because you have God living inside of you when you turn to Jesus Christ. So that's what, like, I believe what turning to Jesus Christ is when you, like, truly repent, you know, you humble yourself and submit to him, and you give your life to him. Jamal, right. you need to go and repent. <laughs> what? Is that all you got from what I said? Like, come on. Girl, I have a question. Did the cops show up to your house? <laughs> no. That's what they're saying in the comments, that the address... It's something like they uh the police showed up to your house or whatever. Nobody these, none of these idiots know where I live. That um doll one eight two was saying that. Is that a fake page? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it a page with anything on it? Oh, they're talking about Randall's house. They're talking about, oh, they're talking about Randall's house. Oh, no, no. When she first came in, she said that they had Scholar's address in the police, the New Jersey Police oh. Department or something. That's there's, when... there, there's no such thing as the New Jersey Police Department. That doesn't exist. He has said. AV said <laughs> that Scholar got swatted. That's why he dropped off. But Scholar said he went to eat. You know, you know, I am. Yeah. I feel like this chat has been so blessed to have you here. I'm glad Thank you're here. You. Jamal was coming in here being a false prophet. Oh, what? 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 what did I prophesy? I didn't even prophesy. I'm just you saying, like, hey, you was being very judgmental, very what, judgmental, what, and calling saying that Scarlet had demons and stuff. That's not even okay. I mean, it does sound like you got something. That whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's dangerous. <laughs> My brother, how much do you know about demons? I know a lot. I have a website that I run. All right, stop, demons. stop, stop, stop. You're scaring me. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, you well, need to stop, stop. Let me explain what? something to you. If you know the Bible and you say he has demons and he don't have demons, they can jump on you, my brother. No, I got, I got Jesus. No, no, you're not listening to me. Let me teach you something real fast. Is a scripture in the Bible when the disciples went to a house and they tried to turn around and cast out demons. Yeah, the demons they ripped them up. The demons ripped them up and threw them outside. The people came to Jesus and said, Jesus, I went to your disciples to cast out demons, but they didn't. What did Jesus say? These things come out by fasting and praying. What was he saying? He was not ready. They was not ready. When you talk about demons, remember when they leave one vessel, they look for a clean vessel to jump into. So you gotta be very sure when you turn around and you say somebody you believe have demons, the devil's sitting there with his legs crossed. Wait a minute, I want him. And the next thing you know, your whole life goes up and down. If I was you, unless God tells you by phone in your head, this brother has demons, I wouldn't even say it. I wouldn't even entertain it. And when I say I'm afraid, I'm not afraid of you. I'm afraid of what can happen to you. Uh, I'm in, I'm in yes, deliverance. Thank you. you know, Jamal, yo, stop being disrespectful, man. That was not, spoken fast. Yo, J Jamal, right stop, stop, stop. You're being disrespectful right now. Super disrespectful. What did he say? Oh, wait, how, how he, am I he just starts talking like out of nowhere. It's crazy. Jamal, I'm not crazy. calm I'm, down. I'm, I'm telling you, Jamal, I'm telling calm you to down. out of love, bro. Jamal, relax. Calm down, man. Stop being disrespectful. Jamal. This is a good chat, and you being yeah. like mad disrespectful. You being mad rude for no reason. We're just crazy. Wait, what? 
I'm just telling you're, you. The you're truth mad, disrespectful, man. and rude, man. I can't I'm believe not, I'm not. I'm just is. telling you that. Yo, you calm down. Da calm down, Jamal. You're like you're totally cut off. Relax, relax yo. Relax. This is crazy. Hey, I'm pretty just relaxed. Chilling. I'm just telling yo, you. Yo, you know what, Randall? This is something that I do every night, and I, re I really don't don't make it a point. But I do pray every night. I, I, I mean, obviously, That's I pray a blessing. to God. See, look at that. That's I've been. A I was baptized when I was a baby in a Catholic church. That's a blessing. Look at that. Look at his testimony. But whoa, 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 whoa. Well, Jamal. Jamal, stop question. being disrespectful, man. Calm down. Jamal, Jamal, let me ask you a question. You Do you the know Bible what the definition means. of born again means? Yes, being born again of the spirit. That's when God transforms you by his spirit. No, 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 I, I just explained it. It's when that's that it. Born. What is born that's, that's when, you're born. when you're born from above. No, no, no. When a person is born again, it's a spiritual transformation, right? A spiritual transfer, right? From where Trans they are, right? Yeah. From where that's they are. No, listen to what I'm saying, my brother. No, don't make from, me mute you. You're being rude. From where they are. Do you understand what I'm saying? I can have a pack of cigarettes in my hand and God can turn around and say, cigarettes, stop. I still have the cigarettes, but I don't need to notice they're in my hand at this moment because God delivered me from those cigarettes. So, when you say you are born again, all right, yeah. we're talking about you went in the water, right? There's a lot of people that go in the water and come out and smoking. There's a lot of people in the water come out cursing, but it's those who go in with the desire of coming out new. That's born again. When your thoughts are in the thoughts of Christ. When you look at a Christian, you don't see a Christian. What do you see? What do you see when you look at a Christian? Because you don't see a Christian. What do you see? Well, you should see Christ in that person. No, 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 no. What do you see? What do you mean? When you see a Christian, think about it. What are you seeing? The Bible says, see, I'm just giving you scripture. The Bible says for man looks at the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart. You have to see his heart. What is his heart? Yeah. And what is his heart? Know. You can know a person's heart by no, no, my brother. Answer the question, please. No, Jesus says, What is this heart? What is this heart? Out of the mouth, the heart speaks, right? That's what that's what Jesus said, right? No, what what Jesus means by that. Look, oh my God. when no, you don't have to say that, my brother. I'm trying to teach you something. I got 40 years, my brother. 40. And in real life, I am a pastor. In real life, I do have a big church. What's the name of your church? El Shaddai Home Baptist is mine, but I go to another church. It's called something I'm not going to tell everybody because I don't want people to troll after me. But if you want to know, I'll let you know privately. But one of the things we have to understand is the motions of a spiritual person doesn't demonstrate the spirit of a person. So if someone God were to... A... Look, look, look. Yeah. The Bible said, they that worship me, worship me in spirit and truth, right? You can't see the spirit, but you know what truth is. The spirit of truth, you know, right? You went to the store, nobody will ever see you with that warm jelly donut if you walk out the store. But the Holy Spirit would say, uh-uh, you didn't pay for it. Why don't you ask the guy, can you have a free donut? You see, the Holy Spirit is a perfect gentleman. So you're going to feel the presence of that Holy Spirit. You're going to feel it. So that's what I'm saying. When you come into the spirit of God, you walk into the newness of God. What did Jesus say when, when John was talking? John was saying, nah, nah, you baptized me. Nah, nah. Put the, he said, that's my son. And I'm well pleased. Listen to him. He didn't really sound like that, but I'm just, you know, echoing. You're you so know. funny. Thank you. So that's the spirit we look at. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. that spirit is going to protect you. That spirit is going to walk with you. That spirit is going to make you speak in tongues when it's need to be. 
That spirit is going to say, you know something, my brother? Oh, my goodness, that's just now touch you, and I feel the anointing of God. The woman said, and the, the woman said what? They had the issue of blood. If I just touch the hem of his garment, I will be whole. Uh, the anointing, that's the thing, is the anointing of God. That's what I wanted to share with you, my brother. Um, well, thank you for that. Um, Y'all yeah, take that. I got to get going and uh, have a good day. Repent, Jamal. Oh, yo, Jamal, you, you got to relax with the disrespect, though. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How I did I just repent? Yeah, bro, all you I just got some jewels and then you out because you can't take it. That's crazy. Yeah. No, all I, no, no. I can respond to him, but it's like, you know, I got things to do. But really, I just came in here to just like, hey. You, you got to serve, Jamal. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever, man. He's cool, Jeff. Go repent, right. Jamal, and then come back and talk to us. I have repented, but thank you very much. And, no and when I repented, when I repented, God like forgave me. I felt his forgiveness, like Angela. I had a repented. question. I got a question now. Do you repent daily? Um, not daily, but I, I repent for like things I do sometimes that I Why shouldn't. Why not be doing. daily? Because we all sin daily. Um, no, you're supposed to repent every day. Jamal, and what's wrong with you? I don't, Jamal, I don't remember this. Jamal, do you like, remember this? Our yeah. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver yeah. us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. That's the prayer he told yeah. his disciples to say. Yeah, but every people, day. but not everyone sins every day, right? No, no. Wait, Jamal, wait, you wait, sin wait, every day, man. Oh, we no. all do. Oh no, no, no! Let me tell you this. The Bible says, "No, no, no." Wait, what, wait, what are you talking about? Wait a minute. He said we don't all sin. The Bible said not he that says he doesn't sin. sin, he lies. I, I never said I don't sin. I'm Jamal, just are you lying right now? He okay, did. remember, I'm you said we don't all sin. Everything. Every day is a sin. Like when you get up this morning, if you didn't say, God, thank you, that's considered a sin. If you can share something and you didn't, that's considered a sin. Yeah. All right, sin, if you, remember. If hey, you might have gave somebody attitude or cussed them out, that's sinful. That's a sin. They, sin is sin, no, no matter how big or yeah. small it is. Yeah, and I'm not like I don't that. practice Christianity, but I believe in the Lord, and I I say my prayers and I repent for everything I do because I'm the type of person I want to treat people how I want to be treated and try to do right by people. But even I know that, and I don't even know the Bible from front to back. Mm. Yo, Jamal, did you thank God for waking up this morning? I, All right, guys, okay. it's six. I got to get out of here. Thank you. God bless you guys. Bye. You have a nice evening. Bye, bye. 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 bye, bye. Thank you. I have so much respect for Randall. Yo, Randall just really knowledge. said it's six. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I love Randall. Yo, I can't take it. He Dr. said he straight up said Randall. it's six. I'm out. It's eight o'clock. What are you talking? Jamal, about? you need to <laughs> repent and you need to learn from that man. Who's just that? Who's just up here? I, I can't wait, wait. What do I need to repent for? Because for one, you was being disrespectful to a pastor. You for was, two, man. you was I just was. you was getting loud and screaming at everybody. I wasn't even yelling. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh, Jamal, calm down. Calm down. I am calm. I am calm. I'm, you gotta, I'm, I'm shook you, as Jamal. You gotta apologize to Mr. Randall, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, you gotta you do. I suggest some video for him. Yeah, I think you should do a video apologizing to him. Okay, enough with the like um the gaslighting here so um he loves you and cares about you i hope he you repent the... daily i hope you do for real well i, I, I you know I, I repent a lot though but y'all have a good day take care you too how you want to sit man <laughs> hold on y'all i gotta do this whoa calm down jamal don't pull out the nine <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite meme oh my goodness yo i cannot believe how disrespectful jamal was bro i'm shooketh i'm that's like crazy. dang i was wow
I ain't never seen nobody ever be that disrespectful. You, it sounded like he was mad that he didn't know as much as Randall did. Yeah, That's why do they keep years. saying the police called you, uh, scholar? They keep saying you, that. You, you know what it is? Because if, if you log off of TikTok for one second, they think something happened. Like, yo, bro, I have a life. Like, I have to eat at some point. Like, exactly. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> How y'all mad? People in the comments mad. I because know. They're like around and having fun. It's like, come on now, y'all. Y'all, y'all be too serious. Yo, yo, let, let, let me tell you something. If the cops did come to my house, you don't think I would put that on TikTok? The the, the views would jump up. Mm -hmm. uh, the hell, I would just do that just because, like, like Randall did, but it didn't because uh, nobody knows shit about me. That's the funny part. These 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 dummies that I don't know what they be pulling up sometimes. I'd be like, I just be shaking my head. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with these people. Like they be taking stuff too seriously on the internet. It's like it's the flipping internet, bro. It's the internet. <laughs> exactly. They everybody mad, Texas. I don't know what's going on. There are exactly there's worse things in the world. Go repent, baby. Go repent. I, because every I time am, you go I over am. there, you 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 lash on the demons. Every time, <laughs> baby, go repent. Get some blessed oil. Get some blessed oil in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, baby. Oh my goodness, y'all need Jesus, like seriously. I don't, I don't know how many times I gotta tell you that my Jesus, He's here. He He's anointed me. This is why these people couldn't get me kicked out of school, can't get me fired from nowhere. They can't stop my nothing because they tried. And you this know who protected me? My God. Do it, come on. TikTok, Do it, TikTok come on. Jamal, so... you're going to have to mute or get down, okay? I'm sorry. I'm yeah. not trying to play with y'all today. Do whatever your name is. Get up here. You got so much to say in these oh, comments on the doggone time. Get up here. Oh, because his mom's up. not home yet. Once his mom comes, he got to be quiet. People are going to get hectic. She knows she don't want to hear all that shit yeah, when she gets home. going to get hectic. Because the minute someone comes up, and regardless if it's Scala, Dua, I'm, you, Jamal, anybody that gets mean. too disrespectful, well, then you can, you can do it on the backup page, baby, like regular trolls. Then. I, I'm just trying to right right now. Now. Do, move out of your mom's house, please. I'm just trying to I don't play that. You oh, man. You come up here. I wanted to talk to him while he still lives with his mom. I, I need to ask that. I never asked him that. Look, we was getting him. We got him at the same time, so... <laughs> I blocked him. He want to sit up here and troll. He can sit up here from the outside or he going to have to come in on another name. You grown enough to say it. You grown enough to come up here respectfully and say what you have to say. I'm tired of y'all on this app trying to run around being little terrorizers as if y'all in y'all terrible threes. Y'all. I thought you were going to say terrorists. Y'all are too old. To be told to be better, to do better. Now I'm sick of y'all getting upset about words. 